Hey, what's up? If you've clicked this video, you're probably thinking about going to Turkey or planning a trip to Turkey sometime this year. The rules of flying are changing every day as well, so it's best to stay updated. In this video, I'm gonna talk about the things you need to know before you book that next flight to Turkey. The main question is, what's flying in Turkey like in 2021? Well, it's pretty straightforward. I was originally supposed to fly with Turkish Airlines, but because of a car accident, which was not um, anything that had to do with me, I missed my flight, unfortunately. I had to rebook with Royal Jordanian. And this part's pretty straightforward. There's just two things you need to know before you fly into Turkey. One, you have to test in. So I had to pay a PCR test in Jordan before I got to my plane, which cost me 30 JDs, and that was within a 72 hour time frame. Then before I could even get my boarding pass, I had to also then fill out a health form for Turkey. This registration is to allow Turkey to understand if you've had COVID or if you've had it in the past or if you don't have it, it's just to keep eye on you, and which also ties into a HES code, which I'll talk later in my next video. The form is very simple. You need to fill it out before you get on your plane. I have a link to the form in my description below. So you need to make sure you fill this out before you get to the airport because there is a 72 hour time frame of filling this out before you get on your next plane. The flight only took one hour, which is probably like one of my shortest flights I've ever taken besides Mexico. I flew to uh, Istanbul, Istanbul, Turkey. Flight was uh, pretty simple. It was very comfortable, cozy. There wasn't much people. And they gave me like airplane food, which I'm not a big fan of. Um, actually, it makes me kind of sick. They also provided me with a, what I call a COVID kit, which is essentially like, you know, uh, hand wipes, disinfectant, gloves, sanitary stuff, all that in a, in a package. It's not much. I arrived at the Istanbul airport, which is pretty new and it's huge. Like guys, this is, this airport is massive. Like, wow. And it's very easy to get lost, but it's so pretty in the eyes. And it just gives you that excitement of like, oh my God, like you're, you're, you're flying in Turkey. The main thing you, I want you to know is when you get to the airport, take a shuttle. It's about 30 lira and it's a lot better than taking a taxi. The airport is still very new. So you have the option of taking a taxi, which is no problem. It's best to take a shuttle if you're trying to budget this and it's like only 30 lira. And it's right outside. Um, this area is also great for uh, converting your money. There's ATMs all around, which I had not a problem with. So you can do that too. And that's pretty much it. <laughs> I know this is a very short video, but it's pretty straightforward. Flying to Turkey um, is no problem right now. I think the real uh, discussion is uh, once you're in Turkey what do you do next but that'll be my next video in my first impressions of Turkey so if you guys have any questions just let me know in the comments below I am now in Istanbul Turkey and I'm gonna be here for a while so with that being said always like share and subscribe and I'll see you guys in my next video take care